everybody, Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies, and today I'm going to be showing you how we can get more for our money for our stamps, and uh, I have a little kit for you with some sprays and a stencil and the stamps so that you can make uh, cards in all kinds of different colors in a family that you will really love. So there are a couple of things that I um, will be using here. It's First of it is like, there's two kits. There's one for... Um, african-american skin or uh skin of color brown skin and then i have one for caucasian skin so depending on what you uh prefer that you will have different skin colors we're actually starting this with a colorful life stencil this stencil is sunglasses um, and what we're going to be doing with these sunglasses I sprayed that with pixie spray and let it wait a minute okay so what pixie spray does so it holds it nice and firm to the work surface you see it holds it down to that paper so that when I spray this nothing's going to slide underneath now this kit comes with uh, five different colors one for the skin tone and then four to add color and vibrance to your whole piece so I'm going to start with Mindaro so when you use these sprays for the first time you roll them in your hands back and forth and what that does is it mixes up the uh, the the mica that's on the bottom that gives it the shine you want to you want to mix that but you don't want to shake it because you don't want to push all that stuff into the nozzle i'm going to spray this along the bottom if you can see i'm putting the mandara on the bottom and then next i'm going to be using ocean depth so with the kit you're going to get five colors so you can actually make backgrounds of all different colors and what i would recommend doing is doing them at once so do one then do the next because the the uh the pixie spray on the stencil is going to have that stencil stay nice and sticky for a little while if you can see um, how i have uh, the yellow and then the blue and then where they meet it makes that really pretty green and i think i'll use the fl flamingo at the top so i'm just going to roll that flamingo to get it mixed and spray that and then having a paper towel at the ready is always a good idea have a paper towel i'm just going to go over the top of that so you can see, I'm going to take the excess off so I don't get it all over my hands like I did last time. And I'm just going to lift that off. And you can see how it really didn't go underneath that stencil. It's very, very crisp. Look at those colors. Aren't those pretty? It's super shimmery. I'm going to actually set this aside for a few moments and let it dry. Next, I'm going to be using my Misty. And in my Misty, I'm going to be putting two stamps. I'm going to do two for one. It's just more efficient this way. So the two stamps we're using is... SD1024 from Technique Junkies called Beach Answer, and you can see it says the answer may not be at the beach, but shouldn't we at least check? And this is one piece normally. And this one says beach more, more worry less, and again, this is one piece usually. For this situation, and in this kit, I have cut these apart for you. So you can see this is the beach more worry less. I took the beach more worry less and cut it off. You have two pieces. Beach is the answer. I did the same thing because what that allows you to do is mix and match these. So I can take the girl and I can put her with Beach More Worry Less. I can take the bag in the sun and I can put it with uh, Beach is the answer. Okay, so you can mix and match these by doing that. So that extends these just a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two stamps, the two focal image stamps in the bottom of my Misty here. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper and I believe this is four and a quarter by two and three quarters so basically it is a um, an A2 size that I've cut down in half because okay, I want that held down nice and firm now I'm actually going to work inside of this uh, misty when I'm coloring so I'm just going to be using memento gray flannel so those are the stamp pieces, but it's important that these are dry before I use this because we're going to be watercoloring with the spray. So it's important that we start with the dry base. So By the way, this paper I'm using is just 80 pound Nina Solar White. Um, you can use watercolor paper, but I have Nina Solar White and I think it um, is very easy to stamp on. It gives you a nice crisp image, so that's why I use that. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some water in one of the palette, in one of the palette wells, and then I'm going to take this mixed metal, and I'm going to put it in a second well. I'm gonna put it right next to the first. You notice I'm getting very close to the actual well itself. So that's because I don't want any overspray if I can avoid it. When I mix colors, I wanna be able to control that. Okay, so next I'm using Flamingo. This is Festive Flamingo, and I'm going to put this here. So 
So now I'm going to add Mindaro in another well and then the blues in the other two wells. So I'll speed that up for you so you don't have to watch it in real time. So you'll notice that I'm cleaning the area in between the wells only because I want to be able to control the color that I'm mixing together if those colors aren't uh, are all over the place. So I'm going to start with this color, which is the mixed metals. And this color is good for sand and it's good for the skin. When you're working on the skin, you want to paint directly on the skin, but I suggest you don't start in the middle of her skin. I suggest you start at one edge and move over. Because we're not using watercolor paper, this will not blend as nicely as if we were using watercolor paper. So if you can see, I'm just putting a layer down, very light layer of this. I don't want to miss her face. So that's her body. And now what I'm gonna do is add some darkness, some depth to this color. So I'm gonna take some of this flamingo and some of the mixed metal, and I'm going to make a secondary color here. So I'm just mixing that there right on the palette, if you can see that, right there. It's darker than mixed metal, it's, it's uh, lighter than the orange. And I am going to just go along the edges and along her arms a little bit, along her knees. I'm gonna wipe the color off in between. I'm gonna go back to my mixed metal and I'm gonna go over that a little bit. Now remember that you are not working on watercolor paper. So you don't wanna go over this a thousand times. You can work on watercolor paper. It's totally your preference. But in this example, I'm not. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a colored thing here because she is supposed to be a little tan there. So she's got a little more depth of color to her by adding that flamingo in there. And then I'm going to just wipe that off and go right to the sun. I'm gonna do my sun. I'm gonna go outside the sun a little bit. I'm gonna do this sun. Since it's sitting here, I might as well do them both at once. And I think I'm gonna do her hair in blonde. Okay, so I'm going to note here that you can go over as many uh, as these colors as you feel comfortable to without peeling the paper if you want to deepen one of the colors like I just did there. I deepened that flamingo. So now we're going to let this dry or I'm going to use a heat tool to dry it. Okay, so these are nice and dry. So all I'm going to do is take my gray flannel and I, I remember I kept my magnets and my pieces in there. I'm going to go back over the stamps with my gray flannel and then I'm going to gently stamp this again because if you can see it's a little faded because the shimmer makes it look a little faded uh, the shimmer um, lightens the line so I want it to look nice and, nice and crisp oh look at that look how nice that turned out so we're nice and crisp there the inks will dry and then we'll cut those down and put those on top of our cards Same. okay so let me show you how we paint the woman here for brown skin brown and person of color skin so we're going to be using worn saddle so instead of receiving the mixed metal you'll receive the worn saddle so that will be your skin color so you're going to do the same thing we did with the caucasian we're going to put water in there and then we're going to mix up the worn saddle now this worn saddle has quite a bit of shimmer in it so this turns out really pretty so we're going to put some worn saddle in one of the, the palettes and then we're going to be putting the flamingo again in another one of them. So just a little bit of flamingo. And this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the skin tone and then I will speed it up um, and you can watch me paint the rest of the piece if you so care to do that, or you can skip ahead. So what we're gonna do is start with a little water. I'm gonna start with the worn saddle and I'm going to be conservative here. I'm going to start with a watered down color here. The main reason I do this is because I want a little tonal difference between her hair and the skin. So I'm going to start with the skin tone there. 
And you can see it's a beautiful color. And it goes on so nicely. It's beautiful. Make sure I get the whole face there. And again, you want to work in longer strokes when you're working with the skin tone because you don't want to um, have it look choppy as far as color is concerned on the skin. All right, so I'm going to do her legs. When I was doing these earlier, I kept forgetting to do the faces. I kept having to go back on every one of these and do the faces. And then I'm going to do her arm. You can see how easy that is. Now I could leave it like that, or I could add, just like I did with the Caucasian skin, just add a little of the pinkish tone to it. And it just adds that little extra bit of color that, you know, gives it more of a tonal look. So it's going to darken it just a little bit. Can you see that? Just a little bit around the edges, leaving the inside portions relatively unscathed there with that color. It also gives it a little bit of tone definition since we'll be using the brown for her hair also. So that's a skin color again. So there is the one of color and the, uh, the other. And what I'll do is I'll dry those and then I will stamp them again so I get a nice crisp look and I'll show you the resulting pieces at the end. Okay, for our final step with this, what we're going to do is take our pieces and I'm just gonna grab two pieces. And we're going to take the finished piece that we've cut down so we know what size we want to have it at. Okay, so we know it wants to be that size and then decide which of the two sayings, because now I have two sayings I can put on here. Um, the answer may not be at the beach, but shouldn't we at least look or beach more, worry less. So I think I'm gonna mix and match this one and put the beach more, worry less on this one. I'm just gonna put it in the corner there because I'm gonna tilt her when I put her in and uh, put it in the misty and this one because i'm putting it over all that color i'm going to pull out my tuxedo black and ink that and stamp that right into that shimmering color now if for some reason you don't feel that you got a very good stamping on that shimmering color that's the whole point of having the misty is that i could go over that again if i so choose i don't really need to but i will show you anyways and just go over that again and I have a nice deep dark inking there and I'm going to put her on some uh, colored paper and pop her up and finish this card off for you so that's one this one has the answer is may not be at the beach but shouldn't we at least check and you can see even with the same image it's adorable on there too so or I could take this image, which I have not yet cut down, and put that over the top, and that would be cute too. So I'm going to cut those all down and stamp the rest of them and put them together, and I'll be uh, back at you at the end to show you the finished pieces.